a sedated South African black rhinoceros hangs by its feet as a helicopter carries it to a team of veterinarians and researchers waiting on the ground. Wildlife veterinarian Will Folds is assisting this rhino relocation team today. Moving this rhino to private land will give it more protection and a better chance to increase its population. Dr. Folds and the others quickly get to work on this female. They scan her horn for the microchip that will allow them to track her and her horn if poachers take it. They collect blood samples, notch her ear to make her identifiable and check her overall health. Let me see if I can find you something sharp, eh? But today, one of the biggest challenges is removing the tranquilizer dart from her hip. The cow has rolled on the dart and the needle has broken off in the muscle beneath her skin. Would it be easier sticking on her sternum? I, just, so I, want to move it I don't want the skin to move it, then, then you lose the uh, sight of it. It's having your blade if you still got it. I'll stick it in it. Rhino skin is about two inches thick. This veterinarian uses forceps a razor blade, and a multi-tool to remove the dart. Once it's out and the wound treated with an antibiotic, it's time to wake her up and get her into a truck for transport. Her handlers rock her back and forth to help get her back on her feet. Wait, 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 wait. Once she's safely inside, the last step is to remove her blindfold, earplugs, and lead rope. Then, it will be off to a holding area until the researchers have enough rhinos to move them as a group to a safer place, a protected place where they can reproduce and ensure the survival of their species. Black rhinos are critically endangered. Between 1970 and 1992, Black rhino populations decreased by a staggering 96%. Due mostly to habitat loss and poaching, only about 5,000 remain.